So as media jargon goes, there seems to be more and more of that jargon that is brought out, talks to us, thrown at us from every different direction. Today specifically, OTT, CTV, all seem to be very, very common acronyms that we're hearing a lot about. So Luke is gonna join us today and talk a little bit about what all that means and what does it mean to you and your organization and what do you really need to understand about OTT, CTV, the difference between the two, does it really matter at the end of the day to you? Welcome to Down in Digi, where we're getting down to the business of digital marketing. I'm your host, Karina Keys. Today, we welcome our special guest, Luke Majeris, who's going to educate us on the differences between OTT and CTV. So let's start out, Luke, just with a simple definition of what we're talking about, just a high level, like what is these acronyms even mean to a typical yeah. business? So OTT, think of it more as your traditional kind of marketing or specifically television marketing. Since for over the top, so think of it's a cable or satellite putting on a video and then you will run your ads over the top of those videos. If you ever see sometimes when you're watching something and then it breaks to insert ad here, there'll be nothing. That's when your ads are put on top. That's kind of a traditional way of running TV commercials. Whereas CTV stands for connected TV, and as you can probably guess, it's connected to the internet. So whether that's on a phone, a laptop, or a tablet, or some sort of uh, home device, you'll be able to watch something on there. Perfect. So the typical viewer of a television program probably doesn't differentiate a whole lot between what they're watching as far as broadcast versus maybe a streaming device. And can you maybe inform us a little bit on what those differences would be? And if I'm totally oblivious to the media world and I'm sitting in my living room, how would I know if something is being served to me through a broadcast signal or through an OTT signal? So the easiest way to tell if you're watching a OTT versus a CTV ad is depending on how you are watching it. If you're watching it, whether if you have a cable subscription or a satellite subscription, kind of connected to the wall to like a cable outlet, that would be OTT. But if you're watching it, that's something connected to the internet, whether it's your phone or your Apple TV or Roku stick or whatever, that would be CTV. That would be connected TV, perfect. And so, you wanted to do research on this. Tell me a little bit about why you uh, took the time and started to really dive in to these two different options for businesses. So these, these two words, C CTV and OTT, keep, we keep hearing them all the time and people don't always know what they mean. And here at Key Media, we have access to one of these things, um, which is the CTV. Um, and a lot of information is coming out the past few years. In 2019, over 2 million people cut the cord of no more cable or satellite TV. And more people, I think it's like 68% of people have at least one streaming service, whereas 65% still have cable. And those numbers are starting to increase even more, more towards more streaming services and less cable TV. So people are wondering how we can still target those you know, because TV advertising has been around for so long, how yeah. can we still target those people that are watching the TV, but they're moving away from the traditional cable? So that's when CTV, instead of the OTT, CTV comes into play, so we can target those people that are watching their t television or their shows on their own devices on their own time. Perfect. And if you're watching us today, just drop a little note in the comments and let us know, have you cut the cable yet? Um, and if you did, how long ago did you cut the cable and, and go to strictly a streaming service. Be really interested to see what some of the answers are from the people in this group. Yeah, I haven't had cable since 2017, I don't think. That's when I cut the cord too. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and I'm just curious to, like, people outside of our industry, do they have the same um, thought process and, mm -hmm. and make those same mm -hmm. decisions as yeah. quickly. So what was a really interesting takeaway from the research that you completed. Mm -hmm. So what I kind of found is just the biggest difference in the OTT versus the CTV. OTT, there's just very limited 
targeting. You can, all you really have is the time and what channels that you want to show on. Okay. If you want to run during a specific program, or whatever it is. With CTV, you have all that, but you have even more that you can add on top of that a specific audience or um, day parting or that kind of stuff. Um, with the CTV, you can really narrow down who you want to target. So if I was um, a physician's clinic, let's say for an example, uh, let's go way out there. Let's say I own a dermatology clinic. How would CTV be different for me than buying OTT? With CTT, or sorry, CTV, you're able to target people that have shown interest in sort of dermatology or skincare or some sort of health and wellness or beauty. Uh, with OTT, you don't necessarily have that case to target those specific audience parameters. With CTV, that's possible. So to recap what I'm hearing, OTT, I would still be able to target based on maybe a certain program that they may be watching, like The Bachelor, um, or based on a general demographic data, mm -hmm. so maybe women 35 to 54. Yeah. But with CTV, I could add those parameters, but include people that have um, exhibited behaviors related to beauty or, or skin care products. Correct. Okay, that makes a lot of sense to me, thank you. How do the costs compare? How do you, how would a business owner kind of be able to compare the cost of being able to run a TV commercial via OTT versus a TV commercial using connected television? So the costs are very similar. Um, we don't have access to OTT, but we obviously have access to CTV, but we found that our costs are very similar. The extra thing that we can kind of go off of is we can report on those specific audiences, demographics, that we can narrow it down to an age range that we found, we found good callbacks for this, but maybe not good for this age range audience segment when we don't have that with OTT. Perfect, so what I'm hearing then is that Although the cost per commercial may be similar, you're going to get more um, engagements or better conversion points because mm -hmm. you can optimize towards those people that are actually responding to the ads. Yes. Perfect. When, as, as a business owner then, and I'm looking at the two options between OTT and uh, connected TV or CTV options, what does it really mean to me as I decide where to spend my media budget? So both are still viable. I mean, it depends on your audience that sometimes still OTT makes sense, but the one benefit you're gonna get from the CTV is that those extra audience segments and you can uh, optimize towards those specific audience segments, whether it's uh, interest in beauty or a specific age range, and you can kind of go from there to see how they're performing and how the retention is with that information. Perfect. So I would assume then that over the course of a campaign, um, those dollars are going to deliver more, um, more value and more return on ad spend than we would be able to attribute to a broadcast or an OTT campaign. Yes, Is that absolutely. Correct? Yep. Perfect. So what one piece of advice would you give to our business owners and marketing professionals that are watching the program today? First of all, when it comes to a creative, treat it as someone is watching it on their device versus a normal TV. Yeah, they can still watch on their TV, but to, to, to say something that we're talking about connected TV or mobile or something like that, that could be an added benefit to kind of, to keep those customers engaged. What would you do differently for a CTV commercial specifically than you would for maybe a broadcast purchase? I would maybe keep it more smaller and when you think of a OTT commercial, a normal, the TV commercials that we're just familiar with, uh, my suggestion is to, to keep it a little different, keep it shorter, a more upbeat, kind of think of it as a, a video ad online versus a commercial for a television. Um, keep people more engaged, move it a little bit faster. So you wouldn't recommend repurposing your, your television or your cable commercial through a CTV campaign? Using an OTT video will work. It'll be fine. I th you will we'll see better retention, better engagement with a newer or an updated ad. Perfect. And by smaller, you're talking length, yes. correct? Yeah. Not like actual yes. correct. screen size. <laughs> okay. So what would be an ideal length for a CTV campaign? Well, so 30 seconds still works, but also like a 15 second, those work really well. Um, 
I because I, I don't think we can do a six second on. Uh, I think those are mostly just like for the YouTube bumpers. But I think you're right. Yeah. yeah. I think probably still 15, 30 still works, but. So can you use a two minute video if the content is, is the best content? Two minutes is too long. 60 seconds is the longest we can do. We don't suggest 60 minutes, 60 seconds. If we can keep it to 30 to 15 seconds, that's probably the best. Thanks for joining us today for Down and Digi. I hope you know more now than you did five minutes ago or maybe a little bit longer today with our special guest. Thanks to Luke for joining us and for his time and really digging in and understanding the differences and the different capabilities between over the top and connected TV devices. If you would like to better understand CTV options and as it relates to your business, feel free to reach out, give us a call, shoot us a message. We'd be happy to talk to you more in detail about what it means for you, for your organization, and how you could maybe test some campaigns and see if it makes sense. So until next week, cheers.